A mother whose two kids were hit and killed on the highway on Father's Day is back in jail tonight. Sandra Ortiz was hauled away right in front of our cameras. She was on bail after pleading not guilty to child endangerment and DUI charges. CBS 8's Steve Fiorina explains why a judge ordered Ortiz back in custody. This accident on Highway 78 in Vista left two children dead and their mother in handcuffs charged with DUI. It was Father's Day. Sandra Ortiz stood before a judge today at the Vista Courthouse. The young mother awaiting trial on several charges, including child endangerment for the deaths of her 16-year-old daughter, Amy, and 10-year-old son, Alan. We've now had three violations. It seems clear to me that that's been attempted, some lenience was provided, and that it's been shown to be unsuccessful. Judge Brower said his main concern is public safety. And so I am going to have her remanded into custody. There are some details that are going to go along with that. One is I'm going to set it at $100,000. I'm going to have her releasable to a residential treatment facility via the public defender's office should a bed become available. Earlier, we saw her sob. I'm a good mom. A good mom. Police said her blood alcohol level was 0.14 when she pulled off the freeway because some luggage had fallen off the roof of the car and Amy and Alan ran out a door to their deaths. Their mother was behind the wheel as the two children lay dead in the highway. None of the four others still inside were wearing seat belts either. The children's father has stood by her, telling CBS 8. She has nothing but love for our kids. But the deputy district attorney presented evidence that Ortiz repeatedly violated terms of her release. We were alerted that her bracelet tested positive for alcohol. Um, it was a 0.43 at approximately 2.43 in the morning on July 16th. Um, and so we were here today. I had asked the court to remand her into custody since this was the third um, SOR violation in the last three, three weeks. Sandra Ortiz was led away to a cell. She'll be back in court next Tuesday for another hearing with a prelim scheduled for August 10th. If convicted, she faces 20 years in prison. Steve Fiorina, CBS 8.